Hey, what's up, guys? It's Zach, and for anyone new, um, obviously my name's Zach. <laughs> um, I'm a designer and illustrator based out of Tampa, Florida. Uh, I make quite a bit of just personal pieces. This is one of those. Um, it's not a commission or anything. It's not something super serious. Um, just kind of having fun. I spend honestly way too much time on it. This video is gonna be stupid long because I was working on it on stream. Shameless plug: Twitch TV backslash Z counts. Um, <laughs> the I was working on it on a stream, so I ended up just working on it forever because I wanted it to be really good, but it, it turns out, like, I like the way it turned out, but I just spent way too much time. So the video is going to be pretty long. Um, I don't have a ton to say as far as just, like, specific things go sometimes because you can only, you know, explain the pen tool so many different ways before it's just kind of like, yeah, <laughs> we get it. You're using the pen tool. Um, but yeah, so this is actually a drawing that I think I started in like November or something and for reference now it's March um so yeah it just sat in a folder for a super long time and I didn't know what I was gonna do with it I thought it was um just gonna get thrown away like I've end up just taking half finished ideas a lot of times and throwing them in a folder and then forgetting and then they just fall into the abyss of never getting finished <laughs> it's just kind of like a, the, a sketchbook like once I'm done kind of working on something it's just kind of done um so yeah but yeah if i don't talk about anything right like correctly or don't explain something correctly um just ask in the comments and i'll try to explain better again or try to like at least hit on something if you um something you don't understand also i know a lot of times it goes too fast but um i'm working most i'd say the average piece is like five hours total because the nature of vector and just the way I work, um, it's pretty slow. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm trying to find the, like, the right speed where you pick up what's going on, but it's also palatable to watch for, you yeah. know, 10 or 15 minutes or whatever it turns out to be. Um, so yeah, I guess with this piece specifically, I end up doing quite a bit of the um, kind of drip effect. And to me, this is something that's super hit or miss. Like I've seen very good drip vector art and I've seen very very bad um, I think the thing that kind of separates the two is uh, craftsmanship and making things look actually s like you know a little bit realistic not necessarily just like big overly bulgy cartoon drips and stuff like that I think making it look semi-realistic a lot of times gives it um, you know a nice uh, like postmodern edge like you're not sure if it's kind of surreal you're not sure if it's like supposed to be real or if it's supposed to you know kind of be cartoony i don't know it gives it a weird look anyways um my only suggestion for drawing stuff like that is um find some good textures and literally trace those with the pen tool i say this in a lot of videos but that's what got me kind of understanding um how to kind of cheat and make things look like they were you know dripping and stuff like that is from actually drawing dripping stuff and just kind of noticing a few little patterns and stuff like that and also just kind of like over uh exaggerating gravity with a lot of the drips like just make them go down really far and it looks <laughs> it's like wow such drip but yeah it that really works actually you just kind of over exaggerate everything in a downward motion and it just ends our brains end up assuming it's just kind of dripping like looking like paint so <laughs> you didn't really have to be too accurate as you can see a lot of the like bottoms of my quote-unquote drips like they're not super rendered well um a lot of times i'm in a hurry um but honestly that's how i get a lot of happy accidents and my stuff i just kind of go really fast and <laughs> hope something good happens it's kind of like this like nothing good was happening honestly but when i first made this or when i'm working on it right now i wasn't near as good you can tell about the lines like the lines are super shaky um you can tell later my lines i'm getting a lot thicker i end up having to go back over a bunch of stuff but that's just kind of like hindsight where i was able to look back months on a drawing and be like man those lines were not looking good um so yeah i should be switching pretty soon i already knew what the font was it's like how about it go something so i kind of put that in i end up chopping it up a little bit later um i tried to put very many logos or like you know business text or anything like that on my stuff but uh <laughs> there's yeah there was a jump uh, I think there was like email notification on the corner of my screen and it like just said who it was from and it was a client so I was like eh, I should probably not show that. Anyways, uh, so yeah, right here I'm kind of experimenting with the background and these are one of those things that I never know if I should cut out of the video um, 
or not because I if you've seen the thumbnail for the video obviously you know that the final piece does not look like have a bright you know striped orange background it changes a lot um, obviously I got a very different vibe when I came back to it um, later I was honestly a lot I've just gotten a lot better to practice um, also gotten a lot faster. Honestly, this shouldn't have taken near this long. And if I'd have drawn all the lines right first, we'd be having like a seven minute video instead of like, whatever, 15 minute video, but it's whatever. <laughs> um, you can see I don't really know what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of just like doing little things. Once again, I left it in cause I like, this is where I'm getting frustrated. I didn't know what I was gonna do. And then obviously I came back, this is months later. I came back with a different vibe. I already had some stuff put in that I just like, it came to me in a, an idea as far as like when, as soon as I saw this piece in the folder, I was like, oh, I can combine it with some other stuff I'm doing right now. So this is where the piece kind of starts to take shape um, because I actually kind of know what I'm doing at this point. Like I have some ideas. Uh, I know I want the heel to look like it's dripping down. I kind of know how I want the background. I know I want these buttons to look all, I don't know, melting from the center. Um, so yeah, th like I said, this is where it starts to come together, but this is also where, um, things start to get a little repetitive for me, um, personally watching it because it's just a lot of the details over and over. Um, a lot of it is just me drawing squiggly lines, you know, just for way too long. Um, like I said, I spent way too long on this. I think the total time is like five hours or something like that. And that's not only what it takes me to do a portrait. Normally for the shoe illustration, um, it takes about, I'd say three, maybe four. Um, it depends how well I already know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so this taking like five is definitely too long. But yeah, like I said, getting into the details, um, lots of pen tool, um, as you can see, just lots of points going around stuff kind of creating lines on the bottom of stuff. Um, this is my once a piece blend tool. Um, I feel the need to use it once per piece, and that's not even real. It just seems like that's always what happens. The air conditioner kicks on. The audio is gonna be terrible, but whatever. Um, it feels like I use the blend tool once per piece. Um, the idea here is I created a triangle, blended it across or whatever, and then I duplicated that blend and then cut it away from the first one. So I kind of messed up, but it's whatever. Um, that you can really go crazy with the blend tool like that and with that cross hatching type shading um there's a really 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 good artist that does it um tracy ching i think is how you pronounce her name um she was on adobe live and god she changed the way i actually shaded or like how i do anything else i don't know she's very 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 good she does stuff for like time and stuff anyways this is not sponsored by her but <laughs> Uh, that's something that she does a lot is that kind of cross that shading so if you're looking to what um, extent that can kind of be pushed to um, which like I said it can get pretty crazy um, I definitely give her a look up um, so yeah um, just kind of going around everything I like to add kind of this frame type um, aspect to a lot of stuff it kind of makes it feel more artsy uh, for lack of a better term it just um, I don't know it kind of gives it a meta top feel to me so I added that, um, I like the idea that there's like rips in it also. So as you'll see, like I kind of, um, rip apart the background and rip apart like a line across the bottom. Um, and a lot of what you see is me kind of just manipulating these vector shapes to like those quote unquote rips or these like, um, intangible ideas or rules that I create. So I'll be like, there's a just a line here. There won't be a line, but it's just like, as you'll see, I put a guide or something, and then it's just, you just act like all the liquid goes towards that line or something. Um, and then other than that, everything just goes down. And then it starts looking like, if it is pushed sideways, it's for a reason. And it starts giving the illusion of like, oh wow, there's like depth here and stuff like that. Like it looks like there's actually planes and stuff like that. Not necessarily, you know, to this specific piece, but just in general, it starts giving depth and stuff like that. Like you start thinking, oh, this is in front of that, that's in front of this. So just working on that frame right now. Uh, this is gonna be a lot of just filler, like I said. Um, I'm, <laughs> I can't ex over explain too much because it's just, I'm using the pen tool a lot. Um, the only thing I can say is if, you have some specific thing that's like, oh, you do this every time and you um, just kind of brush over it. Like, 
and I never touch on it because I assume people know, uh, just leave a comment and I'll make a video on something like, you know, I don't understand or like you go too fast here or like I've never understood what you're even doing here. Like anything like that, just let me know because I, honestly it makes it easier for me because then I know what to make videos on and I know what content people actually want to see and stuff like that. So, so yeah, I'm probably just going to let the time lapse roll. There's not too much longer left, but, um, yeah, I'm just going to let that roll because I don't, I've kind of touched on the tools that I use and stuff like that. So the um, rest of it is just kind of putting in a little bit of time on it. Um, if you want to check out my work, the best place to go is my Instagram. Uh, obviously, at Z, Z Counts. Uh, it's the only <laughs> thing I have on the screen. Such design. Wow. Uh, if you want to buy a print of this for some reason, uh, you can on my web store. It's uh, fairlyoddco.com. And what else? Oh, I guess you can sub to me on Patreon if you want. Um, I do just a little bit more content over there, and I do some like design templates and stuff like that. A lot of my textures, um, some of my glitch stuff. I do just you know a little bit of that, all that over there. Um, but yeah, thanks for checking out the video. Um, I'm gonna play some music that I made the other day, and yeah, have a good one.